Hello, I'm Christine Plasto, reading for the Actors of Dionysus Daily Dose. Today I'm reading an extract from Lysias's funeral oration. These events have led me to mourn for the whole of Greece. But we should rightly commemorate, in private and in public, those men who fled from slavery and struggled for justice. Facing all sorts of enemies, they fought for democracy, returning from exile to Piraeus. They were not compelled by law, but persuaded by their own noble nature. In new dangers, they copied the ancient bravery of their ancestors. Hoping by their own lives to gain a city they could share with the others. They preferred death with freedom to life with slavery, and were no less ashamed at the disasters that they suffered than angry at their enemies. They preferred to die in their own land rather than live in the land of others. They took as their allies the oaths and agreements, and as their opponents, not simply their traditional enemies, but also their own citizens. Nevertheless, they did not fear the number of those against them, but put their own bodies in danger. They set up a trophy over their enemies and placed the tombs of the Spartans as witnesses of their bravery near this monument. Thus they proved that the city was great, not weak, and that it was united, not crippled by strife, and they put up walls to replace those that had been destroyed. Those who returned from exile showed that their counsels were akin to the deeds of those who lie here, in that they decided not to punish their opponents, but to rescue the city.